Hey, I'm Nathan, and this is the AR Minute from AWE 2022. I'm talking with Matthew Wren, president of Bundle AR. Let's get started. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do uh, in the metaverse and yeah, what your role is and what you do there? Sure, so Bundle AR is a web-based, no-code platform that makes it very easy for anybody to publish augmented reality. So the trick there is if you can create a PowerPoint slide, you can create augmented reality. That's what we do. But I shouldn't think about creating AR like I create my overly full PowerPoint slides. Well, I mean, that's that's actually what it comes down to. It's a lot of people do overcomplicate it. And they, you know, that's one of the first things that everybody thinks of when you think of augmented reality. Everyone goes to 3D and 3D is very important. Mm -hmm. And people always get stuck on 3D because frankly, 3D modeling and things like that are very difficult. When you start to actually use augmented reality a lot, you start to realize that a lot of the content isn't 3D. There's still images in there. There's text, there's audio. There's all this other video, digital content that we have. 3D is important, it's there but it's not always all of it. Most of the people who are creating it actually have almost everything they need to create it even before they get to the 3D. You need the story. You need the story. You need the script. You need the imagery. Exactly. You might need some sounds. None of that has to be. Well, no, and most of what we support is training. So training, performance support, learning, things like that. So if you have an instructional designer mm -hmm. and they've already created a training PowerPoint or a training video, or they, they've already got most of the content they need, they might want they might want one or two 3D models that is, you know, the actual physical representation of the thing that they're trying to train on. So if you think of like equipment instructions, mm -hmm. set up instructions for a new piece of equipment. Okay, you want the 3D model of the equipment, but then you can have text surrounding it or labels on the parts or videos that show a procedure for how to set it up. All you need is the 3D model of the piece itself. Mm -hmm. And that can usually, you know, you can either get those from like online repositories like TurboSquid or Sketchfab, or you can have somebody model it. Or if you have, if you're a manufacturer, you have the CAD drawings already yeah. and you can turn those into 3D. So there's all sorts of ways to get the 3D. And frankly, that's what a lot of people get stuck on a lot of the times when you got to realize that you already have 90% of the content. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious, do you have a dream for the future of the metaverse and bundler in say like the next two to five years? And what's and. it going to take to get there? And, well, I like to think that, my, that the Bundle AR tool is one of the tools to help us get there. Uh, but ultimately, what I would like to see is along the lines of kind of equality and distribution. So if you think about it, things like educational content, things like the digital divide, there are people who don't have access to information that should have access to it. And there are people who learn in certain ways you know, the, the concept of if you're close to a major city, it's easy to do training on heavy equipment. But if you're not close to a major city, well, good luck, you know, because you're not gonna have physical access to some of the things. So immersive technology allows for a wider distribution of learning. And ultimately that's one of the things that I'm most excited about. It's the distribution of information, the distribution of learning in ways that were without this technology impossible. Yeah. And so that's what excites me. I'll be honest, what excites me the most is when someone comes up with a use case that I haven't thought of, because I work in this space and I, I've thought of so many possible things, but you know, training the pararescuemen who jump into the ocean about getting astronauts out of a SpaceX capsule, that is not one of the things that I thought of as a use case for this, but that's one of the use cases we're supporting right now. What do I think it'll take to get there is I think it'll take easy to use content creation tools. Yep. I think that's one of the biggest things of you need to get this out of the hands of just the pure hardcore developers and get it into the hands of the creators and the marketers and the content creators because they're the ones who are ultimately gonna come up with a million more use cases than the rest of us have thought of. The guy who created the training for the Xbox Series X support for Microsoft on our platform mm -hmm. is the guy who creates their videos. He's not a developer. He's a video creator. He's a content creator. But he's the guy who actually He's did, a storyteller. He's a storyteller. <laughs> and he's the guy who actually did the hands-on augmented reality creation for their support use cases. Because he already created all of that same content for the videos and for their website. When you're saying, it's so easy, the content person can do it. Like, I'm in. <laughs> so thank you for that. 
there's a lot of barriers and a lot of challenges within the metaverse. So what's your responsibility uh, to address these issues? And are there steps that you're taking to do so? We're very careful about content privacy or data privacy. So PII is one of the things that we were very protective of from the start. One of the questions that comes to us a lot is, well, how does this address, you know, how are you gonna address some of the accessibility issues? And ultimately my response to that is, well, you can actually use augmented reality as an accessibility tool for one, like you can help some things by by adding AR content to it. Yes. Think of the career opportunities that were afforded to people when web development came about. Right now there's a huge shortage of AR creators. So if you have a tool that makes it an accessible job path for people, mm -hmm. then you have people who might have, you know, difficulty getting jobs otherwhere that can skill up on something very quickly and have all sorts of opportunities. The final question that we have is we ask you to just fill in the blank. The future is Hopeful. That's one of the things that like you look at Snow Crash, you look at um, Ready Player One, they always look at like the, the metaverse coming about as this dystopian future. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, oh, everything's just gonna be terrible on the physical world, so everyone wants to go to these virtual worlds. I think the opposite's true. I think the metaverse and augmented reality are going to make information more accessible, it's gonna create more opportunity. Ultimately, this technology is a very hopeful technology. I think it will shift the view a little bit from people thinking about, oh, how terrible things are, to look at how good they could be. I wanna live in that future, Matthew. That is beautiful. Uh, thank you so much for joining the AR Minute from AWA. Absolutely, my pleasure. <laughs>